Hey, it's syndicated radio talk show host, author, singer, Al Cole, welcoming you to another edition of People of Distinction, the talk that gives an in-depth view of some of the most dynamic, intelligent, and successful people on the planet. I come from CBS Radio. My shows are nationally syndicated. I help pave the way to treating women, guys too, with the dignity that they deserve. And I do that through my show, People of Distinction, aired on dignified networks, including the biggest airing CBS shows. And that's Apple's iTunes radio network under their professional news talk division, featuring CBS shows, Fox News, NPR, BBC, C-SPAN, the whole kitchen caboodle there, the best talk in the country. And around the world is on Apple's iTunes radio network under their professional news talk division. And I want you to visit my website, peopleofdistinction.org. Want to see there, want to hear too, my Apple streams. See my alliances with people like Ariana Huffington, the founder of the Huffington Post. Check out my People of Distinction Humanitarian Awards events, great events in New York, Capitol Hill, with members of the U.S. Congress, U.S. Congressman Rob Whitman of Virginia, reaching out, sponsoring my events at the Rayburn House Office Building and also other areas of the country. It's all at peopleofdistinction.org. And if you want to email me on anything that I do, you can email me at alcoholic at gmail.com. You heard me right. That's A-L-C-O-L-E-H-O-L-I-C at gmail.com. And I really want to thank my CBS radio listeners for coming up with that handle. (laughs) Alcoholic. Seems like from day one, my listeners have been saying, Al, we love what you're doing there, brother. In fact, we're hooked on it. We're Al Cole Phillips. Hey, coming from CBS Radio, I'm also a New York Times best-selling author with Chicken Soup for the Soul. Chicken Soup for the Soul is distributed by CBS's Simon & Schuster. So we keep it in the family that way. Coming up, we got a guy who's going to be talking about choices. All right, we all got choices in our lives. And actually, that's the name of his new book, Choices. And his name is Robert Sterling. He was brought to me by one of the self-publishing companies that uh, bring me guests to my show on a pay basis. And uh, they get a spotlight interview. How do you like that? You know, 15 to 20 minutes generally. And it spotlights uh, whatever book they want to spotlight. In this case, we're going to start out with choices. Robert has a number of books that he's written. And choices is going to be our choice for the main focus of, uh, of this interview with uh, that book that uh, he's choosing as the one that you get out there for his choices. So I know that uh, many of uh, you are asking, well, what choices is Robert talking about? Okay, so I'm just gonna lay the groundwork. Robert, he's the expert. He's gonna talk about it in more in-depth ways, but he might be talking about some choices that uh, involve how we get over and move on from past traumatic experiences. Now, we all know that we go through trauma every once in a while in our lives. Trauma can be possibly uh, defined in different ways. It doesn't have to be, oh, my God, uh, this I'm, I'm losing my mind. I'll never be able to regain my sanity. Boy, all right, so I'm schizophrenic, I admit it. It doesn't have to be that sort of thing. In fact, in many cases... It is not. It's something that jars somebody sometimes so deeply for maybe just a short period of time that maybe they dream about it uh, over and over for you know, a short period of time. They can get over it. Uh, military veterans, particularly, we know about PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. That has uh, really been a focus on uh, Vietnam vets and that's from Iraq and uh, Afghanistan, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We know about that sort of trauma. And sometimes it's very hard to get over that. It is. And we know about trauma from first uh, responders, you know, you know, police officers, firefighters. Uh, it's a day-to-day jungle out there sometimes for these people, although they serve very, very well. And maybe that sort of trauma, very difficult to get over. However, we can move on past that and Robert has ways that uh, we can choose to move on from there it's also about doing the right thing sometimes dilemmas whoa moral dilemmas let's say get us into a spot where how can we choose ah I, I, I have to choose right over wrong right now even though the wrong seems to be more tantalizing for me 
oh, this is traumatic. Maybe he's talking about that sort of trauma too. People, you got to stick around here. A lot of things that relate to you, my listening audience, you're going to hear from our special guest here in the Spotlight interview, Robert Sterling, talking about his book, Choices, that can help you to make the right choices in your world. And it's available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble. And I will say he was brought to us by a great uh, self-publishing company called You Are Link. Yeah. If you got a book that you want to move, they're your movers. Go to You Are Link publishing.com and you know i'm going to spell that out too because a lot of you people are going to think it's y-o-u yeah like youtube or something it's actually you are l-i-n-k yeah you are link publishing.com welcome robert to people of distinction with al cole how are you doing today great how are you <clears throat> i'm doing very very well and Good. i'm gonna uh, tell my listening audience right now a special treat Coming up, my son, Benji. I'm going to introduce him, and he's going to actually conduct the interview with Robert. I'll come back at the end of the interview and just recap. But Benji is a great interviewer. I'm very proud of my son. He is an actor and uh, filmmaker in Los Angeles, and uh, he's doing tremendous work that way. Been on stage with Tom Hanks and all of the greats, and uh, Benji's going to conduct this interview, People of Distinction Way with Robert Sterling talking about his book choices. So welcome, Benji, to People of Distinction. How are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic, Al. Thank you very much for having me on the show. Look forward to this interview coming up here, uh, as you so eloquently put, with Robert Sterling. Very excited to get going. So, Robert, let's uh, let's jump right in. Uh, choices, as, uh, as Al has already put, that's available on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. Um, right off the bat, let's just start with uh, what is one main thing that you really want your audience, uh, or our audience rather, uh, to know about choices? Uh, well, all of the characters in the book, or the two main characters, uh, have some difficult choices to make, the police officer especially. And I guess it's, uh, it's a matter of, well, he's, he has to choose between duty and love, I think, at one point. Mm -hmm. And uh, he and it, it, it involves having the courage to move on, you know, not getting stuck in a rut. You know, it's it's funny you put it's the choice. The main choice is between duty and love. And we're not talking mm -hmm. here, guys, about whether I should go to work or should take a day out to go, you know, out to dinner with my wife or take her on a vacation. It's a much bigger choice than that. Is that correct, Robert? Yes, it is a very big choice. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So what I find fascinating about it is, is you know, doing the research and, and pulling up the brief synopsis on choices. The moral dilemma uh, that the main character is faced with is definitely something that we all can relate to just as human beings, whether or not you've actually been in that particular circumstance, which I'm sure many of our viewers have not. Um, it's just, again, as you so eloquently put whether love or duty it, you know comes in, in into play right do we protect the loved one or do we do the right thing um which is a mm -hmm. fascinating and moral dilemma that again really kind of humanizes these characters and creates that relatability um robert what inspired you to write this story um i know i think maybe in some ways some of the parts of the police officer i put myself into it so in in some cases i had to um in my own life, move on after things that have happened to me in the past. And so I sort of use the police officers as the vehicle, I guess. So, uh, absolutely. So I'm in there. <laughs> absolutely. Now, um, have, have you been in law enforcement, uh, Robert, or just, uh, know someone maybe no. that was in? So just that, just, again, just the connection of what the particular moral dilemma that the character is facing is just relatable that way. And you do have other books. Now, the other books that you've uh, written, are they connected or similar in a way? Or do you like, because obviously this one is fiction. Some of the other books, do you, are you, do you consider yourself a fictional writer? Or? I am. Yeah, I'm a fictional writer. I've got another book, one other book out. What is the other book, if I may ask? It's called Embracing Love's Healing Touch. And the two books are connected. They're, one's a sequel to the other. Oh, fantastic. Great. Yeah. And is that also on Amazon and Barnes & Noble as well? Yes, it is. All right. Well, anything else that you can tell us about choices without giving too much away to our audience, Robert? Well, the dilemma the police officer has is he's investigating a drug leader who happens to be his girlfriend's uncle. So he's and he's put in a very difficult situation. Plus the fact that the uncle was somebody he had a run in about three or four years before 
And because of the loss of his wife, he had let him slip through his fingers. Oh, wow. So, so he's trying to prove himself now. Anything else? That, can you give us a little bit more of a description on the, uh, on the sequel that way and, and where our, uh, our viewers can, you know, can find that? Uh, the sequel is more about um, the two characters after they're married and they have a child, and it's more about the child after they've grown up. All right. And then where else? Because I know we can find the book on Amazon and Barnes & Noble, Robert. Uh, in terms of do you have a website you'd like to plug or a Facebook, any kind of social media that our viewers might be able to pull up some more information on you for? I have a Facebook page, just as Robert Sterling. So Fantastic. Facebook, Facebook wise, I guess you just have to go on, bring my name up, and and uh, it should come up actually, and my picture as well. Yeah, everything is all connected on the World Wide Web nowadays, right? I'm sure we can just easily yeah. type in that in the Google search Pr- bar. Pretty much. Pull it up yeah. that way. Well, Robert, it's definitely a gripping storyline. Again, with that moral dilemma is something that is absolutely universal amongst our human family that way. And being faced with such a decision, how would we all react? It's kind of one of those things where I know, at least in my relationships, I'm sure you can probably relate as well. A lot of times when you're in a relationship and you're committed that way, the common phrase that always gets thrown out is, oh, I'll do anything for you. I would die for you. I would do this. I would do that. Right. And until we're actually put in that position and faced with those uh those real life uh, consequences and decisions, it's really difficult to determine how any one of us would react. So I think that this is um, it's an amazing storyline for, for everyone, regardless, even though it's a fictional story, it's easily relatable, uh, as I said, to our you know, human family that way. Yeah, he, he really hated doing what he had to do because he realized it was her uncle and, which, and it would affect her father as well, of course. Absolutely. So it was a, it was a hard choice he had to make. And this book is also available uh, electronically as well if our viewers want to pick it up on Amazon uh, Kindle. Robert, again, thank you very much for being on the show with us. Any, uh, uh, anything else that you would like to uh, put out, make sure our viewers know uh, about Choices or about the, uh, the sequel? Well, Choices, of course, is about the police officer. And both of them are actually in a situation where they have to work together to, to get out of his clutches because uh, they've, they're both in a really like a dangerous situation at one point in the book. So they have to help each other out. Perfect. Well, so. well, Robert, thank you very much for being with us on Alcohol People of Distinction. Uh, we definitely look forward to helping you push this, uh, push this book. And I'm sure my viewers, again, are going to be very interested in, in, in looking into it again. The book is Choices, available on Amazon and Barnes & Noble, also available on Amazon uh, Kindle as well. Thank you very much for being mm-hmm. on the show with us, Robert. You're, you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, and we thank Robert for being our special spotlight guest here on People of Distinction with Al Cole and with Benji Cole as well. And uh, his book, Choices, that he was talking about. Uh, one more time, you want to order that book, you can order it at Amazon, Barnes & Noble. And he was brought to us by UR Link Publishing, one of the best in the publishing world. And if you've got a book that you want to move, well, move it through UR Link. Go to urlinkpublishing.com. And uh, before we leave, I'm going to uh, put a message out to my listeners, as I always do at the end of the show. It goes out to my people, Distinction listeners. Uh, if you've got choices that uh, you have to make, and who doesn't? Well, take it on the inside first. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? Uh, the inside out. Well, look, we are all the arbiters of our own consciousnesses. We are born with minds. And we're born with what we try to define as souls and the repository of feelings and, you know, the doing the right thing for people. And love, particularly, is the way that uh, we do the right thing for people, love and like. The people that we like, we call friends, well, we want to do the right things by them. People that we love, that we call maybe our spouses and our children and the family members, we certainly want to do the right things by them. However, society sometimes can get in the way and, you know, the right thing can turn out to be the wrong thing for us, for our own self-interest sometimes. All right. So we come to that impasse, that fork in the road where we have to make a decision. Oh, geez, we do. Do I do the right thing uh, that uh, morality tells me to do, that my love factor, like factor that tells me to do? Or do I make a lot of money? <laughs> or do I, uh, you know, maybe, uh, you know, get uh, know, sexual satisfaction or this or that or, you know, whatever. Well, that is something that uh, now we take to the inside. 
And we have to spend a little bit of alone time, people. Get to know ourselves a little bit. Get to understand our real values on the inside. It's not a snap decision that you can just make. In fact, it's not a decision that you have to make on each individual dilemma. Now that can really cause trauma. Oh, boy. Now I'm faced with it again. Faced with it again. Get to know yourself a little bit, people. Take that alone time. Understand from whence you came. That beautiful baby who was once born that said, wow, I just want to love. And I just want to help other people. Do the best that you can to compromise sometimes. Yeah, I don't mind using that word. That's where we're always doing it. Compromise a little bit to help the other person, even if it's going against your own grain of money making or whatever, or you know, any sort of thing that you think, oh, gee, but I want to, um, I want to you know, get bigger and bigger in what, what I'm doing professionally. And maybe I got to do this in order to uh, achieve that end. Well, think about what comes later. You might make certain people mad. You might make yourself mad a year from now, two years. Oh, why did I do that? I really hurt that person. So, you know, first get to know yourself, your own values. Get to like yourself and love yourself, too. And uh, then you can't really go wrong in the end. You make some of the right decisions. And that's the people of a distinction way of putting it. And uh, I'm sure that... Robert would agree, and Robert has this book that uh, you want to buy choices at Amazon, Barnes & Noble. Follow his lead for Facebook as well. Thank you so much, Robert, for being my special guest. You're quite welcome. Of attention with Al Cole today. So have a wonderful, wonderful day, and we wish you all the best. Yes, you too.